Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. What is your full name? My name is Sahaj Preet Kaur. Where do you live? I live in Patiala, which is also known as Royal City of Punjab. Can you describe the area you live in? I live in a really calm and a green full uh, greenery area. It is full of greenery, and uh, there are total nine parks in my locality. What are some good qualities of the area where you live? There are uh, many good qualities of my area where I live. Most of them uh, is that it is accessible. Uh, we can uh, get each and everything easily over there. Okay. What changes would you like to see in the area? The main change in my area where I live is about clear, about the maintenance because the colony in which I live it's really very huge colony, so it is really very difficult for them to keep the maintenance of each and every. Okay, let's talk about concentration. Can you concentrate in a noisy place? No, I cannot concentrate in a noisy place. Whenever I need to uh, study, I always choose a calm place. Okay. What helps you concentrate? Uh, meditation is really very helpful to get uh, better concentration. It also helps in uh, getting uh, good results in a study. What was your dream job when you were a child? Actually, uh, when I was a child, so I, I just want to become Prime Minister of India. But uh, as I grew up, my dreams changed by classes. Why? Because after that, I came to know the reality of uh, the politics and all that. So I decided not to become Prime Minister. So what is your dream job now? Now my dream job is to become a data analyst, which is a high, uh, high paying job and uh, it is in more demand nowadays. Alright, this is the end of part one. Now in part two, I will give you a two minute topic. You will have one minute to prepare. Here is your cue card and this is your paper and pencil. May I start? Uh, books are really good source of knowledge. There are multiple amounts of books in the market. Some are for entertainment, some are for knowledge, some are for the uh, cartoon types of. So uh, I prefer to read books such as uh, which are for entertainment. So my favorite book was Harry Potter. Harry Potter uh, was uh, there are multiple parts of Harry Potter. Some of them are, um, there are six total parts. So I started from the really very beginning. It was really very interesting book because I am uh, fond of fiction as uh, sort of books. So in that book there were, um, they, uh, in that they gave, they gave us introduction about the uh, main character of the story and uh, he was a uh, son of wizards and uh, they left him because uh, there was any sort of problem. So after that he goes to the school of wizards and uh, he makes multiple amounts of friends and uh, so many things. Uh, I learned, uh, I didn't learn something, uh, any valuable thing but that was a book for me that that gave me relaxation so that's uh, why have you read this book again and again because uh, uh, this book gave me a sort of relaxation i my mind get fresh after reading such sort of books all right can i have paper pencil back yes this is the end of part two now in part three let's discuss this topic what benefits do children get from reading non-fiction books? Uh, there are not uh, any sort of benefits, but uh, one gets re relief after reading books and uh, 
it is quite better than using mobile phones in what ways does reading help children improve their concentration reading uh, helps children in improving their concentration because uh, when they read they do not focus on other sort of things such as mobile phones or tv they just get interest uh, about the story how important do you think it is for parents to read to their children to read well, story books to their children well it's important for the parents to read story books because from the very beginning if the children would get about get the knowledge about the stories they would get a uh, little more interested about the about reading books and uh, some sort of other things how can parents make reading sessions more interesting for their children in my point of view they can uh, make the reading section more important uh, more interesting by using the props and uh, making the uh, all the gestures so that these children do not get bored while listening to the story all right this is the end of your speaking test thank you try to speak more otherwise overall it was good for this kind of speaking you can score 6.5 band in real exam thank you